Welcome to the Witch's Oracle. Hello, gorgeous. It's Wednesday. It's January 29th, year 2020. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through my reading today. So we're doing Gemini. I'm sorry, we just did Gemini. No, we're not. Take that back. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't edit, so we'll just start again. <laughs> We're doing Libra. Hi, Libra. Sorry about that. Um, Libra, you have a good sense of humor. You're very positive. You'll forgive me for that. I know you will. Okay, Libra. So you're an air sign. You are planet Venus. And um, you're a triple seven. So you're winner, winner, chicken dinner. Seven, seven, seven. And today's the seventh in numerology. See here, number seven. Okay, so with numerology, what you do is you take, we're in the first month of the year, so it's a brand new, it's new. So with the day, it's two and nine, patience and complete, complete patience. Um, also, nine and two is 11, which is a star seed number, which is um, intuition. Um, and then the year is 2020, so two plus zero is two plus two is four, plus zero is four. So this year is all about perseverance. We're persevering through this year. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, so you have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then the rest of the 20, 15, 16, right? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. One, the beginning six of love, the beginning of love. Six and one is seven. Do we see where we get the seven now? I hope so. With numerology, you break it down to its smallest point. So it breaks down to a seven. So today is number seven, which is personal growth. Libra, you're all about personal growth. You're Venus, the planet of uh, love and beauty. So let's come over here and let's take a look at what we have going on. With your sign this is the burberry um astrological deck if you're interested you can go look at my videos and see the unboxing and review of the deck amazon under uh it's around 15 dollars or so so libra this is you you're all about balance you're all about balance so there's your number seven so today's all about you libra all day I hope you had an amazing day because right now it's like 7 o'clock on a Wednesday. Oh my gosh, it's 7 o'clock. Oh, that's crazy. All right. Interesting. Um, that just kind of blew my mind. Anyway, um, so you're 7, which is personal growth. Venus, which is your planet, is 1 and 6, which is when you add the numbers, they're 1 and 6, which is 7, the beginning of love personal growth. Air is all about your thoughts, um, your thinking, your mental awareness, uh, patience and change. Five into a seven. Seven, seven, seven. Now you know where I got my seven from. Now we're all on the same page. Hello, same page. Um, I'm all about numerology because numerology is what it is. Literally, you pull a card and it says change. It's change. It's not my opinion. It's not my thought. It's not my intuition. Oh, it could be this or it could be that. No, it's right there. It says it right there. It's five change. Bam. It's basic scientific mathematics. It is what it is what it is. That's why I love numerology. Um, and when you're connecting with color patterns and cards, you'll see as we go through then you know we're connecting with spirit. I'm using the Dark Mansion Tarot to do my reading today. This is the limited edition. It's no longer available for sale, unfortunately. Um, I bought mine directly from the creator from Poland. Um, there's some people who are selling on uh, tarot sites. If you're interested in this, um, this is the collector's edition. It was over $100, so it was pricey. The Lunar Nomad Oracle, I am obsessed with. This is my soul deck. I love this. I bought this from a witchery store on my island. Um, I think you can possibly find this 
online. Um, and if you want to comment below, if you can't find it, I'll help you find it. Okay, let's get started with numerology as I always do. This is what I call letting Jesus take the wheel shuffling. I let the cards fall where they may. Oh, by the way, remember I said I was going to show you what time. Can everyone see the time on there? Seven? Seven o'clock? Seven o'clock. Okay. So, yeah, Jesus take the wheel. I let the cards fall where they may. And let spirit deliver whatever message needs to happen. I'm not trying to direct this, control this. I'm just the messenger here saying, tell me what you want me to do. Do you see how the cards are popped up here? So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six cards that I can see. Now let's see if all those cards make it through till the end. Because if they fall back down, then it means that they quite possibly did not want to be pulled. Okay, got them all. Okay. Uh, okay, we're done. That's it. I hope you enjoyed your read. I hope you. En I hope you enjoyed your reading. Good night. I'm done. That's it. That's all. That's all she wrote. Oh, for the love of God. I had to take a sip of cocoa on that one. Okay. For those who don't believe in, um, um, well, for those who believe in, let's say you do believe in, um, what's it called? Coincidence. Uh, you're wrong. This isn't coincidence. This is flat out in your face like, hello. Hello, all the cards. This Okay. Okay, seven, 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 seven. Um, all right, personal growth. That's what I said just a minute ago. There you are. There you are, Libra. Seven. Next, we have pride. This, okay, I can't, I can't, I can't with it. Go back and look at my last seven videos. This card, every single time every single time what's up with pride right now what's going on in karma what is happening i don't understand this is insane all right so we have pride uh one represents new new beginnings this is your new beginning nine completion this is completion the beginning of completion nine plus one is ten ten is karma Okay, pride. Pride could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on. Taking pride in how you look is great. Being conceited, not great. Taking pride in your family, thinking your family's better than everybody else. Do we see where this is going? Okay. <clears throat> five. Okay, so you're an air sign. Air sign is two and five. Patience and change. So with the air sign, with five, that brings that in, which is the change. Five into a seven. Remember, we pointed that with just a minute ago. So we have change. So we need to change that. Next, we have love, which is Venus. Venus is one and six. One plus six is seven. But you have the beginning of love. So we do have the six. So I should, okay. So we have the six here. One and one and six. So we have love. Now we have physical activity. We have love right here and personal growth. So six is Venus, seven is Libra. So loving Libra, love yourself, personal growth. <clears throat> It's also 13, which is really interesting because 7 and 6 is 13. 3 plus 1 is 4. And this year is 4, which is perseverance. So perseverance and physical activity, needing to take on physical 
activity. Taking physical action. Wow. Healing. So this is a star seed, so you don't add these together. This is six to the next power. So six is love. Love to the next power. Love plus love is healing. Love plus love is healing. So we have love and love. We have personal growth. We have personal growth. And then over here we have physical activity. So we have a seven to begin, seven to end. And here we have love. And then here we have healing. So in order to heal, we have...